Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. Because a few of you have mentioned that you are struggling with Hex Installer, I thought I'd put together a super quick guide to help you all out. Covering how to customize your system colors, switch up the icons using Hex plugins, and finally, how to set your custom creations. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks, and customization videos. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need a Samsung Galaxy phone and the Hex Installer app itself, which is available from the Play Store. But for those of you who don't want to purchase Hex or have a non Samsung phone, you can achieve a similar result using the app One Shade. Now, jumping right into it, here's the Hex Installer home screen where you can personalize your system theme, reapply past creations, troubleshoot any issues, and even schedule when the dark mode will be used. Make sure to check these out, but for this tutorial, we're going to focus on the personalization aspect of Hex. Starting with switching up your system icons using the UI mode. By default, you're going to have a couple different theme plugins pre-installed, but for those of you who want even more choice, just simply click here to be taken directly to the Play Store for a list of additional plugins. Just bear in mind, not all of the plugins are free, so make sure you keep an eye on how much they cost. And any that you do decide to install will automatically appear within Hex. Just simply tap to apply the plugins and the preview at the top of the screen will be updated with the new icons from the pack. Next up, let's look at customizing the theme colors. For this, depending on the plugin pack that you have active, you could have the ability to set the overall colors of the theme or the light and dark modes separately. Regardless, you can customize them both in exactly the same way. Working your way down the list, altering the colors of the general system UI, the quick settings, and the notifications. Just make sure to use all three color sliders to get your perfect setup. And once done, before you decide to apply your custom theme, bear in mind that Hex will also skin a majority of first and third party applications. So to check out which ones, make sure you head to this list and untick anything that you don't want to skin. Finally, there's also some additional customization options within preferences, such as setting your transparency levels for your quick settings and much more. So it's definitely well worth checking out. Now that we're done customizing, let's click install and build our theme. This will take a few minutes and you may be asked a few times to click install so make sure you do and let it finish up. After which you'll be taken to your phone's Galaxy theme section, specifically the My Stuff page. Here make sure to reapply your phone's default theme, then reload the My Stuff page and this time select the high contrast theme. And just like that we're done. There's quite a bit of loading time involved so just be patient and let your phone complete the process. But if you do run into any issues, make sure to check out Hex Installer's FAQ section for help. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.